Good morning. Today marks my official 20th week of being pregnant. These leggings are my regular Beyond Yoga leggings. They're not maternity in the size medium and they still fit quite well. To be honest, I thought they would be really tight, but they're still working, I guess. Usually when I eat, it'll blow a lot and it'll pop out more. Um, but yeah, this is me so far at 20 weeks. Let's see how much I weigh. Let's see. I'm holding my iPhone. I don't know if an iPhone weighs a lot, but um, it says I'm 123.2 and I'm up a pound from yesterday. I guess that's a good thing because it means baby is happy. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about my pregnancy skin and what's going on and also a little bit more about my prenatal vitamins. Um, so I'll start with my prenatal vitamins because I do have to take them. So in my last video, I mentioned that a lot of these prenatal vitamins don't have certain vitamins in them and there's a good reason for that actually. And I realized that I was taking my vitamins at the wrong time. So the vitamins I'm talking about are just regular prenatal vitamins with like everything in it. And then calcium. The reason why they don't put calcium inside a multivitamin or a prenatal vitamin is that some research has shown that calcium has been known to inhibit iron absorption. So there is iron in this multivitamin, which is probably why they excluded calcium in here. And me, not knowing anything, thought that it was kind of annoying to have to take two vitamins like at the same time. And I realized that it was not a good idea to take the calcium with my prenatal vitamins. So I've been trying to work out this like multivitamin schedule, like when I take these vitamins, because I have to take three of these a day, and it's also not recommended to take them all at the same time. It doesn't say that on the calcium supplement, but I think it kind of makes sense because this has 77% of your daily calcium needs. I think it makes sense that in your normal diet, your natural diet, you wouldn't be consuming that much calcium in one sitting from a regular meal normally. So our bodies, I believe, can't really absorb so much calcium at the same time. So I've been trying to take one every few hours to not also coincide with the time I take these. I'll take one calcium in the morning and then after I get to work, or I get ready and I get to work, it'll have been about two to three hours. I'll eat a very light snack and then I'll take one of these with that snack. And then during my dinner time, I'll take one or two of these depending on how I'm feeling. I usually just take two because that'll be about 50% of your daily calcium needs and I think that is the maximum your body can absorb. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am not a doctor or anything. I'm just trying to mimic like a natural diet without actually eating calcium from my natural diet. And then later at night, maybe like closer to the end of my work period, I will eat another one of these. So right now I'm going to take one of these because it's morning. They're pretty easy to intake. They're really small. I just realized I'm about to run out so I'm going to have to order more. Okay, so going on to my skin. Um, my skin has been pretty horrible lately. I've always had bad skin. I've had 
a lot of pregnancy hormonal acne in like the first trimester going into the middle of the second trimester because I'm in my 20th week now and only since last maybe two weeks ago the preg uh, the hormonal acne started kind of lightening up it doesn't look that way right now because these are just like scars now they're just like leftover things trying to heal and stuff and you know how that usually takes the longest time <laughs> excuse me <laughs> and on top of that I had a lot of eczema I've always had eczema too growing up as a kid I had like a lot of allergies and like my skin was always so angry it would get like patchy and scaly on like my face and my arm and I'd always have to like put like some kind of Vaseline or emollient to kind of calm it down so I hadn't had like eczema flare-up for a really long time maybe like a few years that was like so bad that it was like itching and scratching off but it happened recently and I was trying to figure out why because I hadn't changed anything in my skincare and I started looking into EWG.com and the products that I were currently using and some of my favorite products and I when I mean favorite I mean here's one this is my all-time favorite uh, skincare product it's a micellar water from Caudalier, Caudalier, Caudalie, and I've used this for like five or six years religiously. Like I probably buy three or four bottles a year because I cannot live without this um, for those past five, six years. This was like the one thing that helped keep my acne at bay. It was such a calming, cleansing, and um, not harsh toner and it has a lot of really good stuff in here glycerin just water grapefruit water but then on EWG it doesn't have the best rating safety rating and it's got to do with the fragrance perfume in here which I did not realize this whole time that they were using fragrance because I believe on even on Sephora, like it has like that clean check mark. So I'm not sure why this said that it was clean. Because unless the fragrance in here is natural, and I'm just assuming this is what was making my skin really angry, I decided I need to try something else. I started using a different toner that has very good, or different micellar water that has like very good ratings on EWG. Okay, so this is the micellar water I was talking about from Bioderma. I, mean, I did try it, but I felt like it wasn't as moisturizing as the Caudalier one, but it doesn't have all of the harsh chemical, or it doesn't have perfume or anything in here. So I've been using this lately, and it's been pretty good for the past one or two weeks. And on top of that, I always use this from Lemieux. It's a toning water spray. This is pretty like as natural and good for your skin as it gets. It's pretty much like a salt solution that's like balanced and you just spray it all over your skin and just kind of like let it like pat in and then you could put all your lotions on top and it really helps to calm down irritation. This was recommended to me by my spa. No, no, no. She was my skincare lady. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. But she did a lot of facials for me and such. And one time I broke out in this horrible rash. And then she recommended this to help calm it down. And it like worked wonders. Like the next day after using this, like spraying it multiple times on my face a day and just letting it kind of cool and calm down, my face was like 50% better. And that almost rarely ever happens to me. So another, let's see, skincare that I've always been using is this sunscreen from Sorella Apothecary. It's got a lot of natural ingredients. It's vegan, gluten-free. It's also got moisturizer in there. Um, it says that, just in case you didn't apply moisturizer, 
this kind of can substitute but i still wear a moisturizer beforehand anyway because i just think like all in one products sometimes are not the most effective so i use moisturizer plus a sunscreen and going on to moisturizer i've been using elta md burial barrier renewal complex this whole time and elta md is really highly rated and a lot of people with eczema and skin issues do use it fine and that's why i was using it but when i was trying to troubleshoot why my skin was so mad um i decided to try other products that are even less harsh and kind of like specifically towards like babies i guess because they you know a lot of products are really safe for babies nowadays they're so much more strict which i'm thankful for so the first product that i tried was this eczema lotion from pipette and the active ingredient in this one is oatmeal i really liked the idea of this one because it has squalane in it and squalane is generally known to be pretty safe for your skin and your body during pregnancy and pipette makes a lot of lotions and creams for pregnant women um, they have a very famous like body oil which i have not tried yet and i'll get to that in a second so this one this eczema lotion goes on just like a very easy to absorb in lotion it's not like sticky in any way this is actually the first lotion that i'll put on my face after spraying the lemio toner water and then i'll just kind of like let it absorb and it absorbs pretty fast like especially if you like just washed your face or just came out of the shower it absorbs pretty darn fast it's not really sticky i mean it's not not like oily but it goes in pretty smooth and then when this absorbs in because lately my skin's been so dry my skin's like been absorbing this really fast i tag it on with this calendula cream calendula cream from california baby calendula has the, it's like an herb or a plant or a flower. I think it's a flower and it's always worked really well for me and Hold on. I want to check if my cat is using our new litter box And no, he's not Unfortunately I was very highly rated. It's for babies actually the brand is California baby, but they make products for adults too But this one's specifically for babies. I saw a lot of moms give high ratings when their baby had like baby acne or any kind of issues rashes they said this helped a lot and this definitely does help a lot for me too and it smells really good it smells like really really calming like if you went to a spa and you were getting a facial whatever they put in there it smells like that this doesn't have any smell whatsoever so this is perfect for people who are really really sensitive to any scent if you are in your first trimester and you have morning sickness this would be pretty good like zero zero scent like yeah they did a really good job of keeping it clean and just completely nothing this one has essential oils french lavender and let's see some other natural oils in here to kind of give that beautiful calming scent and this one just goes on a little a little more heavy than the pipette cream so i'll put this one on first and then after this one soaks in a little i'll put the big california baby on after and this one takes a while to like go in the skin <clears throat> it's like a thicker texture but still absorbs pretty quickly the latest product <clears throat> that i bought is from clarins it's a very highly rated product it's their tonic body oil and it's meant to firm your skin and help with stretch marks to prevent it or help reduce the appearance of it and i was hesitant to buy this product at first because I wasn't sure if it was a lot of chemicals or anything, but actually this is rated really well on EWG. 
so I gave it a try and I really really liked it. You're supposed to put this on right after taking a shower and while you're still in the shower put it on all over your body and let it soak in for a little bit and then quickly rinse it off with cold water. At first I was like that's such a waste but it absorbs really fast and it goes in your body like it just like soaks it up like especially if you took like a warm shower it goes into your skin like pretty quickly so <clears throat> when you wash off that excess oil <clears throat> with cold water i don't believe it's washing out any that's already gone into your skin in fact it's probably helping you because any excess would probably just get on your clothes and stuff and because my skin is so sensitive it doesn't like being like extra oily or anything before i just started to use any kind of lotion and jojoba oil on my body to try to prevent any future stretch marks and then i broke out into a horrible rash on my stomach i feel like that's what i've been just talking about all day is rashes but that's my life right now and on my stomach i had a rash it was like oily so it was sticking to my clothes and making my skin really mad so that really scared me and i was like okay i guess during my pregnancy i'm just going to have to deal with the dry itchy skin and the stretch marks and just let it run its course because i think my skin does not like having oil or lotion all over and i never did like having that all over my body but this product was on sale at Nordstrom's and I believe it still is it was like 15% off so I thought what the heck let me just try it if at least it doesn't work on like my stomach or my chest area at least I could put it on my arms and legs because usually those areas are less sensitive for me so I gave it a go, I used it last night, and so far I haven't had any issues, and my skin feels pretty good, like, I don't feel itchy or anything. Another thing with this is it's kind of cool because because of the toning aspect of the product, it's got this kind of like minty feeling when you put it on, like, it's like tingling in a good way when you first put it on, and it only lasts like 5-10 seconds. It feels really good and it smells pretty good too. You only need the smallest amount so it can last a while. I mean, it was quite expensive, but if this works for me, I will probably buy this again. And I bought one more cream from Clarins specifically for stretch mark. It's not here yet, so after I use this product more and the other stretch mark cream from Clarins, I will give more in-depth review because I don't feel like one day's use is ever a good enough review like I think you need to at least use it minimum two weeks like or one month but for me because my skin's so sensitive I think I'll even find out if it's a problem in like a few days we'll see and in a few days we're gonna know the gender of our baby as long as our baby cooperates during the office visit so i'm super excited we're gonna do a fun little gender reveal with my family and i will show you what we do when that comes up bye